I can solve real life addition and subtraction problems by using strategies and building models. In this video, we will look at a special type of add to, take from problem. We will look at unknown result problems. When you have an unknown result problem, you will either have the change addition or the change being subtraction. Listen and follow along as I think aloud both types of problems. Seven bunnies are on the grass. Four more bunnies join them. How many bunnies are on the grass now? As I look at this problem, I notice there are seven bunnies on the grass to start. Then, four more bunnies join them. So four bunnies join them is the change. Joining means to add. So I know that seven bunnies are there plus four more bunnies. The question is asking me to find out how many bunnies are on the grass now. It's asking me to find the result. So I can build my math mountain and write an equation. Seven bunnies to start, four bunnies join them, these are both parts, and I'm looking for the total. I'm missing the total. The result with for addition is the total. When I add those up, seven plus four, I can either count on from seven count on 4, or if I know my facts, I just know that 7 plus 4 is 11. So 11 bunnies are on the grass after 4 bunnies join the 7. Let's look at another add to take from problem. Another unknown result problem, but this time we're going to look at one where the change involves a subtraction. 12 bunnies sat on the grass. Three bunnies hopped away. How many bunnies are on the grass now? This time when I read the problem, I read that there I start with 12 bunnies. Then three bunnies hop away. Hopping away means that they're leaving or we're subtracting them. They're separating from the other, from the 12 bunnies. The question's asking me how many bunnies are on the grass now? So again, it's asking me for now, it's asking me for the result after the three bunnies hop away. So now I'm going to build my math mountain. This time you'll notice that I have the total. I have the total bunnies before the three hop away. And I need to figure out what is left over. What is the result or the leftover bunnies after three leave? Left over is a, often a word that's used for subtraction. Well, I can either know my facts, 12 minus 3, and if I know that, that's great. And if not, one strategy I can use is to start with one part and count up to the total. You'll always be able to start with a part, whichever one you have, and count up to get the total. And that will give you the other part. So if you don't know, you just start at 3, put it in your head, and then start counting on until you get to 12. And when you do that, you will discover that 12 minus 3 is 9. 9 bunnies are on the grass now.